Alright guys, it's Rich from the Wave Shack. Uh, I'm back with another product review video and this video is going to be on my Dakine surfboard sock. Um, I'm going to be taking you guys through the, the pros and the cons of this one that I found whilst using it and then giving you an overall recommendation of whether it's worth the money. Um, before I get into the pros and cons, uh, so just to give a quick explanation of what surfboard socks are and why they're a thing. Um, so their purpose is to protect your surfboard uh, in the first instance and they're typically made out of sort of a cotton material with a drawstring at the bottom um, and sometimes a sort of foamy thing at the top. Um, they come, come in all different shapes and sizes and colours, different brands and yeah, like I said, it's a way of protecting your surfboard. So um, let's start with the positives that I found with this surfboard sock. So number one, uh, it protects the surfboard pretty well. So Dakar have made this one out of a, a cotton material and the thickness of this cotton uh, is, is, is great. Um, when the surfboard sock is on the surfboard, all of it is obviously protected and it's got a good thickness to it so that uh, it can withstand any little bumps and knocks to, to your surfboard, which is what you look for in the surfboard sock really. Um, this is sort of a general positive about surfboard socks, but it is cheaper than a proper bag. Um, and when I say a proper bag, what I'm talking about is these these big surfboard bags that people uh, can sometimes be seen carrying on their shoulders. Uh, they've got a shoulder strap and it's a big uh, bag with a handle and they're, they're a lot more sturdy and provide a lot more um, protection, but they are a lot more expensive than these surfboard sock solutions. So that is one of the positives of not just this surfboard sock, but all surfboard sock, is that they are um, a good value um, alternative to a, a big surfing bag. Uh, positive number three of this one is that it's really easy to clean in the wash. So um, when you start using your surfboard sock, um, obviously it'd be nice and clean the first time you use it, but after a few goes, the, the wax that you have on your surfboard will start to sort of cling to the, the cotton on the inside of the surfboard sock and I found that was happening so I just bunged, bunged it in the wash on a really cool wash I think it was probably 30 degree wash and it's got rid of it and it's looking brand new pretty much and um, yeah so really easy to clean another great positive to have. Uh, positive number four of this one it comes in a nice neat little bag so um, that kind of obviously gone to the trouble of making this quite easy to, to pack it's got a nice little drawstring at the top um, it's got the size on the bottom, this one is a 7 foot thruster and yeah it's just a nice and neat way to pack a surfboard sock so you can take that to and from the beach if you wanted to. Uh, positive number 5, this Dacoin product, uh, with quite a lot of Dacoin products they're made really high quality, um, the stitching on this one's really good, it doesn't look like it's going to be fraying anywhere, there's no damage to it at all. Uh, I've used this quite a few times now, putting it in and out the bag. The surfboard sock as well, no fraying to any of the stitching. Um, the drawstring at the bottom is, is still in re you know, really, really good condition because of the high quality material. And you've got this little foam triangle thing at the top, I don't know if you can see that, but that basically goes on the top of the surfboard and that offers a lot more protection to the, to the tip of it. So yeah, really good quality materials being used um, and I could probably use that for a couple more years, no problem without it getting ruined at all. So yeah, really good build quality. Um, so those are the positives. Now on to the cons or the negatives that, that I found whilst using this surfboard sock. Um, so this is again a sort of a general one that I found with surfboard socks but it's quite difficult to get off and on your surfboard. Uh, mainly because of the wax on your surfboard, uh, you can't really do anything about this problem, but it's just something to be aware of that when you have wax on your surfboard, getting your surfboard sock on and off is gonna be a bit of a pain. Um, and it's not just a, it's not like putting your own socks on, it's not on, on and off. It's a bit more of a workout actually. Um, the second, um, con I've got is that well again this is sort of 
a general thing about circle tops, not just about this one. Uh, it doesn't offer as good um, protection as a proper circle bag. Obviously, there's a reason for that, and these circle bags are they're more expensive, they're more sturdy, the materials they're made out of are designed to deal with heavier knocks and dinks and blows to a surfboard, whereas this is sort of the, the en not the entry level, but the, the value solution of, of protecting your surfboard. Um, so I suppose you could say that's a con, but that's to be expected with, with a surfboard sock compared to a proper surfboard bag. Um, so that is that's the product review guys, that's what I've found with this one after using it for quite a few quite a few months. Um, would I recommend it? Is sort of the next thing. If you are looking for a a surfboard sock, uh, this Dakine surfboard sock is actually called a knit surf bag thruster. I, I would recommend it. It's it's made of you know high quality material. Um, it hasn't failed once on me. And um, yeah, I would I would recommend this one. Um, I'll pop a, a link of where I've actually got this one from. I got it from Amazon, and it, uh, it cost me thirty four ninety nine. This one, so it's not it's not cheap, uh, but it's it's probably the cheapest way to protect your surfboard without sort of making your own bag up for it, or your own sock for it. Um, so yes, would recommend this one. And um, if you're looking for a surfboard sock, that's great. Um, I've got a couple tips just before the end of the video of um, what to consider when you're buying a surfboard sock. Um, the the first one is that make sure you're getting the right size. Obviously, that's quite important. This surfboard sock is seven foot, as I've shown you there. My surfboard is actually seven foot one, so it only just um, goes over the end of my goes over the bottom of my surfboard if I really try hard. Um, I probably should have got the 7 foot 6 sock, but that one wasn't in stock when I wanted to get one. So, always get sort of more than you need, then it's easier to pack away. Uh, that would be my first tip. The, the second tip is that um, before you get one, just do a quick check on the, the width of your board and the width of the surfboard sock. So, there are, there are wide boards, there are not so wide, there are skinny boards. So. If you have a wider board, make sure that this surfboard sock is the material will stretch wide enough to actually go down the middle bit of your surfboard because mine is it's quite tight um, and it's not something that I thought about when I was getting one. Um, so yeah, that is the product view, guys. I hope you found it helpful if you're looking for a surfboard sock. Um, let us know down in the comments if you did. Give this video a like, that'd be awesome. Um, and if you like surfing content, I'll be trying to provide you guys with small product views and sort of how-to guides to help you out um, so yeah chuck us a chuck us a like that'd be great and uh, this is rich from the wave shack hope you guys have an awesome weekend